running around with a flat cam adjuster. Coming on to the more commercial size, we've got the 180 by the 4, about the 400, 406 on this one, more of a commercial size with the S cam, which is giving them more progressive braking. Typically fitted to 60 mil and supplied by a 25 mil braking ram. And depending on the type of the machine, hopefully it's got one ram per wheel. On some cases, we've seen 125 mil ram doing both left and right side on the axle as well. So it's pretty dull. 25 mil ram again with the thin quarter inch hosing, obviously keeping costs down. And just routing the field, what I've been finding on trailers, even fully adjusted up with 25 mil rams fitted on the Axpec ones, driven at 20 mile an hour, we're lucky to get 25 mil out, 25%, which is a minimum brake efficiency, which is what we should be looking at. We should be looking way above that. Minimum is what we should be starting on well, one season old, tested it, and it came out with about 12% brake efficiency. I was in the workshop when they put brand new brake shoes on, cleaned it up, fully adjusted it, we got 18% out of it. And that's running on 60 mil shoes. But at that point, the big estates have obviously got about five or six trailers, all the same, they just all bought the year before. The trailer manufacturer actually had come out and upgraded all the trailers with 35 mil rams on, putting half inch hosing on it, retested it, and we were getting about 32% braking out of it. By a simple upgrade by the ram, giving us more clamping force onto the brakes. And also, another area of problem we've got is trailers with the larger commercial brake shoes on. They're kind of then de-specking it to a 20 mile an hour trailer by fitting 25 mil brake shoes on. Obviously we've got a bigger surface area to give us better braking. If we haven't got the clamping force taking place, we're not going to get the braking taking place, we're just going to get the brakes to glaze. The other th problem we find out with farmers, once we've done the adjustment is they all complain again, again yeah, we're leaving tyres on the road, flat spots, because it's brake lock up when empty. So what do they do? They slack off the brakes, slacken off the brakes, so when it's in full use, laden we've got no brakes at all so then simple upgrade we've got load sensing we can fit on trailer they can be retrofitted onto hydraulics and onto air systems so a unit which comes down onto the axle to itself with the spring and again when it's empty it will reduce the pressure down and as the trailer increases in weight it adjusts the valve giving us more pressure to the braking rams to give us better braking at higher loads so simple kits, typically about 300, 400 pounds upgrade. It's not a lot to put onto a trailer to increase braking. That side. The other one problem is a lot of the cheap trailers or cheaper spec trailers is the actual adjusting adjuster coming from the ram down to the rod going into the brake drums. It's on a spline shaft. The only way adjustment can be carried out is remove the circlip, usually seize up, get the gas torch out to heat it up and remove it. Not an easiest job, not a five star job. For a simple cost for a couple of hundred pounds for the whole trailer, we've got slack adjusters, with a put the socket or a spanner on the end, quick turn, like we carried out on the trailer yesterday, it took less than five minutes to adjust the trailer up. It's non-maintenance, that is the issue. I get the typical thing, it's only a season old, it's only two seasons old, it's a new trailer, you look underneath, paint's fresh still on all the adjusters, the paint hasn't been removed from it. The trailers haven't had any adjustment on it as well. So that's a real big area. And also, all the trailers, we ask the customers to lay in the trailer or fill them up as they would do in normal operational use. And I had one two weeks ago, a 14 tonne grain trailer. And we had put it on the Weybridge and we had 28 tonne in the trailer. Single hydraulic line, it will be automatically a 20 mile an hour maximum speed if it's a single hydraulic line. If it's got airlines fitted, that gives us a bit more of a clue. It could be a high-speed trailer, but typically, a true high-speed trailer, to be driven above 20 miles an hour, it's got to have ABS fitted since 2002, fitted to the trailer. And also, the tyres fitted to it as well. These tyres are only rated for 20 miles an hour. Trailer ID number three, the weight is 13, three, four, and then the other bit. Offset slow, offset slow, put it in there, put the measure, accelerate, make sure the engine RPM is the engine RPM. 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 The engine RPM is the engine